Hey there, this is Mike and Jake from Critical Insight. We're the cybersecurity company that defends critical services against cyber attack. So Mike, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's wondering about these infrastructure funds and, you know, billions of dollars, but like if you're a state, local government, how do you get it? Well, first of all, it's a billion dollars for state and local governments for cybersecurity controls. Um, so so here's what we know, and I, it's and I appreciate you you know, putting these together so that we can continue to say, and here's what we know now, because as this evolves, we're going to get new information. It's a developing story. It keeps and changing. There may be 50 states doing this 50 right. different ways. So right. we're going to have to, you know, pay attention to this. But yep. here's what I know. So the uh, Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, okay, formerly known as the Infrastructure Bill, um, originally the federal government was going to give uh, the funding to CISA and then CISA would give it to state CIOs, and they were going to adjudicate how that money was dispersed. And I know that there's been some pushback on this. And so in our state, the authorizing agency is going to be the Emergency Management Division. And that makes a lot of sense because the Emergency Management Division at a state level is the equivalent of FEMA at the federal level. And FEMA usually adjudicates these security grants. So uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, they will be working with uh, CIOs to disperse the funds, though. Mm. And uh, CISA is insisting on an oversight board with IT professionals and the state CIO. So there's going to be plenty of fingerprints on all of this. Um, the notice of financial opportunity has not yet occurred. That's probably going to be late March, early April. Um, I understand there is also a new cyber grant program that may hit May or June, but that's different. Um, and there will be a process where local governments and state governments put together packets and make their pitch for funds. And that's where we're talking about the need to get an assessment because you can't just pick it out of the air. Here's what we want to spend money on. Um, and I know that we're doing some of those assessments right now for some local governments. Yeah. And when, and when Mike says our state, you know, we, Mike and I both live in Washington state, but as far as we know, you know, every state's trying to figure this out right now and may have a similar thing, you know, and in terms of those assessments, you know, one of the things we're trying to do, we got to ask from one of our customers, Hey, can you give me something below the signing limit? And so, you know, if you want an assessment, you know, hit us up. Uh, if you have under 60,000 residents, it's $3,500, uh, 60,000 to 200,000 residents, uh, $5,500. And if you have over 200,000 residents, you know, $8,500. These are meant to be the assessments, you know, just for this to help you figure out what you need to help you put in, uh, you know, the right requests. So we also have a webinar coming up about this. Um, the date of that has is floating a little bit. We had one scheduled, but then with all the changes, we were said, all right, let's wait. Let's develop this uh, and then and then we'll come back. So if you need an invite to the webinar, email me, jake at criticalinsight.com. If you want to hear more about what the assessments are, also email me, jake at criticalinsight.com. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have updates as we go on this. Uh, and as always, sign up for Mike's Daily Blast. Uh, email every morning with all of the uh, all the cyber news of the day. He hates when I say cyber news, so I like okay. saying it in front of him. Right, Mike? Right, uh, let me just point out a couple more things here too, because I think these are uh, pretty important. So you know that there's been executive orders from the Biden administration talking to federal agencies and saying, you must do these things, okay? These security things. Um, we think that there may be a requirement for everyone to have an incident response plan in order to apply for funds. So that's gonna be table stakes. You need to have that in your hand when you make the application. They may also require a continuity of operations plan with your essential functions defined. So state government, local government, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We don't need to drill into that here, but then there is a couple of focus areas um, that there uh, going to encourage. One of those is the monitoring. You know, in the federal government, the agencies, they call it CDM, continuous diagnostic monitoring, but you got to monitor. Uh, Multi-factor authentication is always at the top of the list. The zero trust architecture and vulnerability management. Those are things they are really going to encourage uh, everyone to be working on. So when you do an assessment and you're coming up with your gaps, know that those are going to be focus areas. All right. Thanks, Mike. And thanks, everybody. And, you know, we'll keep doing these videos as we find out more. Shoot me an email, go to our website, uh, and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye.